Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. It is November 1st, 2022. Health update. I've got a lot to share. Let's get started and talk about it. First thing is I took my neck brace off too soon. For any of you that haven't been with me a while, I broke my neck in June. Didn't require surgery, but I have a C2 fracture. Well, I was required to wear this neck brace all the time. Well, the doctor said, oh, you don't have to wear your neck brace anymore. So it kind of basically went from wearing it all the time, and I didn't slowly veer out of it. I just went, wee. Well, I found out that I kind of took it off too soon. I was told by my doctor that I may occasionally need to wear it. Not all the time, but it might be a good idea. I've been putting a lot of strain on my neck because I basically went from all the activities I wasn't doing before, meaning lifting heavy things, stretching up, reaching down, and so doing all of that, I put a lot of strain on my neck and sleeping at night, I can get to sleep, but the problem is, is if I turn during my sleep, I wake up with a lot of pain in my neck. And I can be a pain in the neck too, as a matter of fact. So I may need to go back to partially wearing the neck brace because my neck is still healing. My broken shoulder, my broken collarbone is healed, which is weird. I still feel some tightness there. My sternum and my broken rib are healed, which is good, but my neck is still healing. I thought I would share that. Now, I know you guys are here to hear all about the weight. I do have a lot to tell you about that, but I wanted to say thank you, and I will be writing thank yous, and I do have your address. I received a really sweet letter from somebody from Arizona, so I will be writing a letter back to you, so that's one thing. Also, one of you sent me an adorable spa kit, so I want to say thank you. And it's just really cute. Some candles. You guys know I love candles. Some lotions, and I use lotion every day. These smell incredible. They're not too strong. I love them. A pumice stone, and you know, guys know I get pedicures, so I like to keep my feet nice and soft. Also, a nail file to keep nails, you know, filed. And then I thought this was really cool. This is a little kit that inside the kit is like a little scissors, a nail clipper, and all of that. And it's right inside here. It just keeps in a little container. And I'm going to put it in my medicine cabinet because this person that sent me this doesn't know this. We have more than one nail clipper. And we seem to always misplace our nail clippers. This is perfect for us because now we have everything we need for our nails in one container and there's a little spot for everything. So we just have to make sure to put it back in here. It's gonna stay in our medicine cabinet. A thank you will be going out to you. I really appreciate it. One of you, like I said, sent me a really sweet letter. You live in Arizona and you wrote me a, a nice kind letter. I'll be writing you back. And then one of you wrote me a wonderful little letter and sent me the cutest 2023 calendar. Every day is a holiday. You know me way too well. One of them in January is popcorn day. Popcorn is my favorite. I mean, there's like frozen yogurt day, eat what you want day, wear your pajamas to work day. I don't know about you guys, but I could get into all of these fun holidays and create some of my own. So it just brings joy to life. So thank you very much. Now I'm going to get on to my eating. I will tell you guys this. Tomorrow I have a video going up, and I'm actually really excited about this, about how I finally broke a really bad habit and the two things I did to do it. And I just had to say, Dawn, you got to do this. And so it wasn't something I wanted to do, but you'll find out about that tomorrow. Now, many of you are going to want to know, Money Mom, did you keep off your eight pounds? What's going on with your weight? One of you guys sent me this fabulous book that I love called Chasing Cupcakes. This book is incredible, and it isn't like a weight loss book where it tells you to lose weight. It's all about your mindset. It could be about anything. The author is Elizabeth Benton. As a matter of fact, I liked it so much that I looked up videos on YouTube and watched her on YouTube. Incredible person. So I really like that. I am now journaling. I wouldn't say every day, but I would say at least four of the seven days. Basically, I've been all different sizes. You guys have heard it. Many of you probably don't want to keep hearing it, but I've really struggled a lot with my weight. The main reason why is my mindset and old ideas. 
I keep falling back and do bad habits. That's what this book and other resources are helping me with, and that's what journaling is. What I've been doing the last two years is I start off good, I make some changes, and then when I stop seeing results or I gain a couple pounds from water weight, I feel you know, discouraged, and then I go back to bad habits. That's what I keep doing. So I lost eight pounds, but I gained half of them back because I didn't see results anymore. And then I gained a pound and a half from water weight or something. I'm like, why did I gain this weight? I wasn't even overeating and I got discouraged. So that's what this book is helping with. The big huge thing that she says in this book and her videos is do one thing today. What's one thing you can do today or this hour or right now to improve your situation? Just think of one thing you can do right now. It could be something really small. Just like with money, you could do this with food. Play the this or that game. If let's say you want a donut and a piece of cake, you say, well, I can either have a donut or I can have a piece of cake. It starts out really small, but what's the one thing you can do today? But it's all about a mindset set shift and changing my mindset. So I am journaling right now and trying to work through some old ideas. I really need some help with that. And actually, it probably would be good for me, to be totally frank with you, to go to some counseling about why do I keep gaining weight back after I've lost it? What's the reason? I really need to dig deep into that to find out why I'm doing the things I do. I will tell you one thing I am doing this month. I'm only weighing myself once this month. The next time I weigh will be December 1st. That way I don't just sabotage myself with that. Another thing that I've been doing is increasing my protein intake because I found out that I was eating too many carbs and not enough protein. So that's something else I'm doing. So please, everyone, be patient with me as I work through this book and kind of, you know, process some reasons why I'm doing the things I'm doing and figure out new tools that I can use so that I can actually break free from the bondage of obesity and overeating because that's what it's doing. There's there's things that are holding me back and I'm just not fully aware of what all they are yet, but that's what I'm working through by listening to her videos, by you know reading the book, by journaling, and I feel like I have had a few breakthroughs, but it's a process. One thing that I know is gonna help is I was obsessing over the scale and weighing myself all the time and that was hurting me, number one. Number two, I was tracking, but then if I didn't get fast enough results, I was getting discouraged. That's why with the weight thing. And number three, I was eating too many carbs, not enough protein to keep me satiated. And so uh, that was also harming me. So there were some things that were working against me. And then whenever I would fail, and I felt like I wasn't doing what I was supposed to, I would say, oh, forget it, the day's ruined already, and I'll start back tomorrow, which is, you know, that's a mindset thing. So that's something where if Elizabeth had something like that happen, where say she overate at a birthday party, she would say, okay, I overate, we got this. You know what, next meal, we're back on track. And she'd say, what else can I do to finish the day strong? So that's kind of it. So thank you again for whoever sent me this book. I really appreciate it. If you want to give me your address, I'll write you a nice thank you. Thank you again for the lovely gifts. You will have thank yous go out because if someone does something for me, it's really important for me to show appreciation. And I do appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you for your patience on this, guys. I really appreciate it. And please come back tomorrow morning to hear about the one bad habit I finally broke and how I did it. That's all I have to say for now. And by the way, it's not about eating the bad habit. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.